Okay, uh, this demo is going to be uh, how to um, use your spot channels in Photoshop for those that like to use Photoshop. And uh, just to recap on the image that we had corrected earlier, um, we took an image from the internet, um, this image right here, and um, we, um, we adjusted the, um, the res. Um, to 200 as actually like 92 but it was quite a big image um, and the general rule is for any uh, images or images with tone uh, we like to scan them in at 200 uh, to preserve tonality so we've done that with that image and I'm gonna go ahead and open Photoshop and um, we'll get started and um, since we'll be using the larger press sheet, the 13 by 18 and a quarter, um, I'm just going to open up a new file and the document size you can see is uh, correct. It's uh, 16 and a half by 12. Uh, the resolution matches our image and uh, we're set in grayscale um, already. So I'm going to open the document, our working document, and I'm going to place the uh, image that we've corrected earlier um, and I'm going to size this uh, down a little bit and uh, sort of position it where I'd like and I'm going to um, go back up here to our mode and we can see that we are in grayscale and we're in 8 bits which is good but now we're going to work on multi-channel I'm going to click that and uh, it asks us uh, flatten layers and we're going to say OK and um, you can see that our channel's um, uh, dialog box is open but in case it wasn't you would just go to window channels and we would have that open and uh, in the drop menu we're going to create a new spot channel um, Clicking on the color box, it actually opens up the Pantone book. Uh, we're already set correctly in the Pantone solid matte, but if not, you know, the drop menu, just locate it. And um, you can go ahead and key in any Pantone that you're working with, um, but just for demo sake, uh, I'm going to just click on this 3945 and OK that. And as you can see, that that has opened up. And I'm going to go ahead and do open up another. Um, new spot channel and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get something in the blue area so I'm going to do the 278 click that and OK it and so um, when we're on the Pantone um, I'm on my brush tool and you can see um, um, we can start mixing on screen and uh, with opacity you can also control how heavily of a tint you would like um, also, you know, switching back and forth from different Pantones, you can mix them on screen. Um, and it's great for line work if you are going to go in and fill in areas, um, especially if you have a tablet. Um, it's a great um, way to see your colors mix on screen. Um, if we're at this point and you were um, finished with your image. Um, you can go ahead and uh, I would recommend saving a backup um, but if uh, and after you've done that you can actually commit to splitting your channels so in the same drop menu uh, that you added channel you would just click on split channels and you can see that um, it has uh, split the Pantones into layers. Um, you would just go ahead and save each of these um, as it's uh, its own Pantone, um, you know, save them as TIFFs, and um, that's about it. That's a pretty straightforward way to um, mix your colors on screen um, using Photoshop and the Pantone books. Thanks.